Good afternoon. Uh, I am Zhao Ma. I'm the founder and the CEO of uh, Renovo Surgical. Uh, I'd like to present to you uh, the first modular robotic platform uh, called the Carina for laparoscopy from uh, China. And it's designed in China and made for the world. Uh, but to start, I have nine minutes. I'd like to show you uh, a video clip. And uh, just to warn you that it does contain surgical scenes. This is actually three animal clinical trials that we have uh, recently conducted. Uh, you see the system Carina in a typical operating room, roughly about 33 square meters. And uh, you see a procedure on the right, which is nephrectomy, uh, separating uh, renal vessels. You also see uh, the urethra cutting uh, for a prostatectomy. And to the bottom right uh, is uh, a vaginal stump, that uh, suturing procedure that's performed. I would also like to show you in a typical operating room a modular system that how you configure that, which is with a lot of ease, and you give surgeon multiple choices of different docking positions, and also uh, uh, you know different setups. So this is obviously very different than what you have seen in the past 20 years. So you must wonder why did we do this? So this is a little bit of history. Uh, today in China, uh, the surgical volume is very high. The, we, have, uh, we perform about 10 million procedures, MIS procedures a year. But when you look at uh, the robotic uh, penetration, it's less than 1%. We're talking about uh, a country uh, with 10 million procedures, 10,000 hospitals, over 100,000 uh, surgeons who can uh, perform minimum invasive surgeries. But when you look at the type of surgeries, the specialties they perform, uh, the majority of the specialties in general surgery and the, in gynecology, the robotic penetration is only less than 0.5%, uh, which is extremely low. So when the Renovo Surgical was founded, we believe that uh, the, we are very laser focused. There's a solution to a much broader uh, penetration and the utilization of robotic technology lies with uh, being flexible and uh, cost effective. How do you do that? Uh, that we have the idea of uh, uh, developing modular robot, uh, a variety of uh, instrument uh, from straight to wristed instrument. Multi quadrant access is extremely important and it has to fit with any operating room, uh, to be honest. So, this is essentially when we set out to, the, to uh, found the company that uh, we had in mind. So in the last three years, from inception to where we are today, that we spent almost a year to validate the clinical needs and performing assessments. And we spent about 10 months from concept design to complete the first alpha prototype and by performing the first animal lab. And then we spent about another 10 months completing beta prototype and uh, spend the majority of our efforts uh, in doing animal trials and uh, perform the first cadaver. So in the 2022, the year, we have performed a total 12 animal labs. What's more important is that we accelerate the pace. In the first quarter of 2023, that we have uh, performed the 26 uh, animal labs, which is uh, twice the amount that we have performed in 2022. So right now, we are clinical ready that uh, completed uh, uh, GLP animal labs, and uh, we have also completed the, the industrial standard the type test called the NMPA in China. So we are ready to uh, officially uh, start performing uh, human clinical trial next year. So this is where we stand in current phase. As I mentioned before, that we are targeting two important specialties at the GECO, which is the gynecology and the urology. 
This gives us an addressable market about roughly 5 million procedures a year. The way we are doing that is, again, that we will provide the configurability to the surgeons that with a three-arm to four-arm configuration, offering the possibility of a continue to use the straight instrument, a five millimeter, and also articulated instrument of eight millimeter. So this is, uh, again, the, compatible with the hospital's existing vision system, or we have uh, own in-house developed uh, three-dimensional high-definition uh, high imaging with ICG capability as well. Our next phase, is we are going to have full coverage that when we complete the two specialty clinical trial towards later part of this year, that with the kickoff of uh, uh, two other specialties in general surgery and the thoracic surgery with more capabilities uh, with regards to modular design and the configurability uh, as, as well as functional uh, capabilities as well. So the, uh, thanks to the team that we have established in the three years and we have 140 uh, team member, and uh, they are coming from uh, a variety of uh, robotic companies, Intuitive Surgical, Oris, and other medtech companies. And uh, we have uh, established a very strong technology collaboration as our advisors uh, from uh, previous uh, leaders from Intuitive Surgical and Oris. Uh, and also we have uh, clinical advisors uh, both in China and globally. Uh, we have already established uh, clinical sites, as I mentioned before, for later this year as well as uh, like a, a, a surgical robotic society with the international uh, uh, key opinion leaders. So that we are ready to raise a 30 million uh, Series B. Uh, so if you are interested, let's talk. Uh, I just want to uh, mention also that uh, tomorrow I'll be on a panel uh, to talk about uh, specifically the 800 pounds gorilla in robotic assisted surgery with uh, other uh, panel speakers, and uh, we'll be very happy to see you there as well. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.